afternoon, Connor kiddos. It's Wednesday, it's your pickup day. It's also my Grammy's birthday. She's 92 today. She's amazing. Okay, so I don't forget to tell you, the guess who was Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. And the family that got it correct, well, actually it was Tate. Tate Saunders got it correct, but the whole family was in on it helping him decide. And so they asked for Twix. So they got a big bag of Twix candy bars. And it was so fun to see. I saw Landon and Tessa. Tate was inside and Roy was inside, but it was really good to see the Saunders family. So we will do another challenge tomorrow, okay? Also, um, I'm having a contest to see who can get their books back all of everybody in the whole class who can get them back first the first class to get them all back i will leave a big bowl of candy or treats or something that i bake right by um, your packet pickup next wednesday so we'll see whichever wednesday it is whichever class gets back all their books first okay so i'll make it a good treat too okay all right so today i'm going to read those darn squirrels I don't know what it is about squirrels. Maybe it's because my dogs like to chase them so much, but they're funny. So this book is by Adam uh, Rubin and it's illustrated by Daniel Samari. They are such great author and illustrator team. So he also wrote Dragons Love Tacos. Remember that book? Okay. So those darn squirrels. This picture's important. Something to do with birds. Okay, here we go. On the outskirts of town, at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house. See that little old house? And the only thing older than the little old house was the man who lived in it. Old man Fookwire. What a great name. <laughs> You're gonna love him. Old Man Fuquire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was such a grump. He hated pie and he hated puppies. <gasps> Who can eat puppies? The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, the old man painted pictures of the birds that visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds and baba birds and yaba birds and even a rare flugel bird that came by once or twice. Fuquire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, the old man grew sad. He knew that the soon the birds would fly south for the winter as they did every year, and that he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So Old Man Fuquire built beautiful bird feeders and put them all around his backyard and he filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries and soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat what was in the old man's yard. But the birds were not the only ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. And you have to see their cute faces. Aren't they cute? Not many people know this, but squirrels are in the cleverest of all the woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make a house out of a tree. They can make a bunch of leaves into a bed. They can make a box kite out of twigs, dirt, and squirrel spit. <laughs> it's disgusting. They are also excellent at math. There they are with their abacus. <coughs> Great picture. Winter was fast approaching and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could to get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. The birds were not happy. Neither was old man Fuquire. When he discovered what had happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, Those darn squirrels! 
<laughs> so, he lifted up the bird feeders on a clothesline, but this time he hung it up nice and high. Then he went back inside confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get the seeds and the berries. But the squirrels were determined. They devised a plan and this time they took all the food from the bird feeders. Look how smart they are. They're so clever. The birds were furious. Hum, 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 yelled a, a bonga bird. Those aren't squirrels, yelled old man Fuquair. Yum, said the squirrels. Look, look at their big bellies. They're exhausted after eating. That one's my favorite. Okay, now look at this awesome picture. Really study it. Okay. Now it was Old Man Fuquire's desire to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps. He bought wires and springs, all sorts of tools, and a veritable fortress around his bird feeders were protected. And then he refilled them very carefully. I love that he has like a camera. Na, 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 snarted the flugel bird. That's what a flugel bird says. <laughs> now the squirrels stayed up all night working out their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. Finally they had it, the perfect plan. They put on their tiny little helmets and they prepared to launch themselves into the air over the fence between the lasers and onto the bird feeders. Look how cute they are. Cherry cola and salt and vinegar chips, I love it. Look at his helmet. <laughs> Is it going to work? The first squirrel missed the tree. <laughs> and the second squirrel went too, too high and he landed in a bucket of glue. Oh, super glossy, sorry. Super glossy paint. And the third squirrel sailed clear over the house. The birds laughed and laughed. They each had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from the old man's feeder, and then they flew south for the winter, just as they did every year. Fizzle, 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 said the flugel bird. <laughs> now, after the birds had left, old man Flukewire was lonely, just as he was every year. He felt fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, his favorite snack. Doesn't that sound like something your moms and dads would eat? Cottage cheese with pepper? But he was still lonely. When he looked out the window, the squirrels could tell that he was not happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like you squirrels. Look at this sign. Squirrel meeting tonight. The squirrels held a meeting deep inside a large tree and they decided to give the old man a present to make up for taking all the seeds and berries. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are not only fuzzy little geniuses, they also collect just about anything they can find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. But what would Fuquire like? Bottle caps? Popsicle sticks? Postage stamps? Finally, they had it the perfect gift. The squirrels stacked all of their loose change on old man Fuquire's doorstep. There were dimes and pennies, nickels and quarters, and there were even a few tokens from Coco's Arcade. It all added up to $47.36 plus a few rounds of ski ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't so bad, Fuquire said when he found the coins, but I still like the birds better. This gave the squirrels another idea. They raided their junk collection again, and they got to work. Some nice pajamas. 
When Old Man Footwear woke up the next morning, he was amazed to see that the birds had returned. But wait, those things weren't birds, they were squirrels in disguise. Great googly moogly, said Old Man Fuquare, this will be making quite a wonderful painting. He ran outside, took down the lasers and the wires and the spring-loaded trapeze. He turned all the bird feeders into squirrel feeders, and then he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. Squirrels were so overjoyed, they had a party in Old Man Fuquire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Fuquire, and he shook his old man fist, and then he smiled. Those darn squirrels, very, very cute story. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Sorry I had to move around so much. Miss City got so excited about Earth Day and did all this yard work and I hurt my back again. <laughs> so I can't sit still very long. I have to move around a ton. So, I'll keep stretching and hopefully I'll be better tomorrow. So have a great day. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine and the hot weather. I think it's gonna be like 78 today. Okay, I love you guys. Bye-bye.